Okay, so one week later, I have my transmission rebuilt. So I decided not to do a video on the rebuilding it and all the things that I did for the rebuild. A couple of things to note is you want to make sure that the converter goes in properly. There's two uh, tabs for the oil pump on your transmission that line up with the two indentions on the top of the converter. This is just for reference on my old converter, but you see these are the tabs I'm talking about. So when it sits against the engine, it has to be connected like that. Okay, like that. Um, and then once it's in there, you got to have space between the flywheel and the converter. Um, I'll probably show that here in a little bit. But anyways, I just wanted you to see this is very important when you put the torque converter in. To, um, that it goes in like this. So to make things easier, I got this unistrut and using the metric bolts, I uh, uh, using these pieces of unistrut as a handle. Also took this uh, piece of wood, have some scrap wood right there, and cut the holes in them so that it would hold the converter in place all the way up until I get it into the engine. So these are my transmission fluid cooler lines. I used my compressor and got them all clean. And I gotta also make sure that this these uh, unions don't leak because they were leaking before and uh, could cause problems. So using the pressurized air, I blew through these from one end to the other and then got the fluid out. After that, went with my mineral spirits in a bottle and sprayed some in there. Then uh, sprayed air through it again twice to get all the uh, old shit out. Then uh, I'm going to be going in it with uh, the new Dexron fluid. I'm going to purge them with that uh, so that they're ready to go. Same thing with my oil cooler itself. I'm going to go in here with the mineral spirits, blow it through with compressed air twice. Um, I'll probably do it both directions. Make sure I get everything and anything out. And then I'll purge this also with uh, Dexron 6. With that being said, you can see these little clips right here. These are the E-clips or the locking clips. I lost two of them already. Uh, they're actually the ones that go into my radiator. So AutoZone sells this. It comes with an assortment. has four of the different sizes. And it looks like they got my size right there. All right, so they're not really the best fit. Uh, the ones from AutoZone are actually a tiny bit smaller, but they do, they do fit and they do work. And then before you go back in, just inspect your flywheel, make sure there's no cracks on it. Um, make sure everything's good while the transmission's out. Anything you need to service or check, do it now. For example, I made a repair to my starter because the Bendix was sticking and it was barely clipping the flywheel. At least I think that's what the noise was because after I reinstalled the transmission a few weeks ago, uh, it had a terrible rattle when, it, when I started it. I thought it was a transmission, but I don't think it was. I think it was the starter Bendix. Anyways, get everything ready. This transmission is coming in. So the rebuild book says to prime the transmission once it's laying down like that and all put together with three or four quarts of fluid. You must use Dexron 6. Get you one of these got it at Kroger uh, in the kitchen department it's a ketchup or mustard dispenser and for those of y'all who didn't know these containers are shaped like this with the spout on one end so that you fill like this to prevent spilling it everywhere yeah. comes in real handy when you're doing it in your engine compartment cut what 